Hello, welcome to Tech Point Fundamentals YouTube channel. Today we will learn what is the difference between debug and release build modes in Visual Studio. This is a uh, Visual Studio tips and tricks video series. So, before continuing this video, you are requested to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have also created uh, a lot of other videos related to uh, Visual Studio tips and tricks so if you go to my youtube channel so you can find this under a visual studio tips and tricks uh, playlist you can find other uh, videos as well here so let's start the video for today so uh, as a developer you always know that uh, debug mode and release mode are the two different modes for uh, creating any uh, application or project and uh, deploying any uh, project on the server or production so when uh, we develop the application we always uh, use this debug mode and uh, whenever we deploy our code to production server we always release the code in uh, the release mode right so basically what is the uh, difference between these two and uh, in case of uh, development mode our priority is to download the application and get the uh, analysis of any error or any issue with detailed report so whenever you run the application in debug mode it will provide uh, the errors in detail and uh, you can say that our priority is not the performance or optimization of the code our main objective is to develop the functionality and uh, trace the issue if uh, there is anything in the dev environment right so whenever you run the application in debug mode so what the visual studio do it creates a lot of log information for your uh, application you can say the stack trace or a step if you uh, do step deploying then you can find that there are a lot of uh, things which visual studio capture uh, like uh, what is the variables uh, and uh, what is the previous step all these things right so that you can debug uh, the application in a very easy manner for that visual studio captures and log a lot of stack trace information basically all the in all the aspects right so here I have just uh, written a simple program and uh, here if you see this is a uh, method get user details and get user repository we normally do that right there if there is a uh, entire repository pattern then uh, there is a web application which connect to the business layer and business layer again connect to the database layer right from here we get the data from the database so suppose if there is any exception occurred in this user repository uh, uh, or database layer in that case what will happen suppose we uh, run this application in debug mode then if you see I have just run this program in uh, debug mode if you see the error it shows divide by zero exception right attempted to divide by zero uh, in user repository that's this and uh, which again show the user details because it this method is called in this user details method and again this uh, exception is propagated to in this main method right so it gives us the detail uh, stack trace for that particular exception or error in debug mode right and what will happen if you uh, do the same thing in the release mode if you select the release mode from here then again if you run the application see the interesting thing here there is no more stack trace information for that exception it only show 
that divide uh, attempt to divide by zero in main this is only show you the main method right what is the entry point of the application that is this main in this program name right so it is not showing you the stack trace where actually this exception has been occurred right so this is the difference because now in this case uh, visual studio is not capturing anything regarding the stack trace of this application so in this way the code is fully optimized and uh, here the performance improvement is there for in release mode but uh, if you try to for example one more uh, important thing if you see here uh, I have added a debug symbol here right what I want that whenever this application run and in debug mode then I will uh, like to know when this method is called right so if you see this particular statement it will not be executed in case of release mode if you run this application then see only welcome to tech point fundamentals which is written in this main method is executed not this one because I have uh, executed this program in re release mode right but again if you execute this program in debug mode right in that case let's see this is showing this get user details is called at this date and time right so this is also a big difference in case of a release mode Visual Studio removes all the debug symbols right so the priority of this statement is only in case of a debug when we are debugging we are developing the application not when we push this code to the production and there is no need to go and do comment for this particular code right so uh, that is the different uh, between this uh, release mode and debug mode for any dotnet application or program and uh, also one more thing whenever uh, we deploy our code in release mode then it is always uh, remove uh, the visual studio remove all the some extra lines or code command or anything so that our code is uh, most optimum and optimized so and uh, we get the performance so that's what for today I think uh, you have uh, enjoyed this video please uh, don't forget to like and share this video and thank you for watching this video